In order to make a die, first you need yourself a negative inlay. A negative inlay is basically just a hollowed out square that you can stamp into the ground. Now, normally you'd be able to paint the outer edges and then the inside and you'd have an inlay. But for this instance, we want the inside area to be freestanding. So what we do here is inside of a claim, you need to have an area that was once dirt because you're going to heal the inside of your inlay with earth. So in order to make, the easiest way to make a negative inlay I've found is to use the line tool. So the line tool doesn't fuse voxels as readily as just cut and paste does. You can easily crisscross different lines using the line tool and get very, very sharp edges. Um, only until you get inside of one voxel area do voxels actually start to fuse and start being problematic. Otherwise you can get extremely uh, good angles with the line tool. So once you have the entire inside painted over with, or healed rather, with healed earth, then you need to remove the outside border. You use the delete tool here because you actually want that to be air. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take our original negative stencil and paste it on top. What this does is forces the healed earth to uh, reshape itself into the position of the original negative stencil underneath. So now we have, now we're going to copy that healed earth one pixel out just so we have a border that we can actually see. Now we need a block of material that we're going to stamp our new die into. So right now the die is actually in the clipboard. You can template this if you want to, but it's not the die that we're after, it's the actual finished shape. Now you must have air turned on. As you see, I just tried to paste with air turned off, and it didn't do anything. Let's turn air on, and voila. Paste it down a few times to get a good solid column. Then cut out a middle section, as those are usually the most structurally sound. As you can see, the shape retains its fine, sharp edges just as the negative stencil did. There's a little bit of artifacting on the bottom. It's nothing that a one-by-one -one line tool can't fix. A little known fact, a line tool can fix little artifacts like that. This one's being a little bit stubborn. There we go. And there you have it. Die stamp. Thanks, guys.